The Backyardians, scared of you. This episode is about Tasha being an evil scientist and Austin being her like assistant. And Tasha basically throwing a surprise birthday party for Austin. I actually didn't remember this episode too much, so I was kind of blind going into this episode. I think I saw it at one point, but I think I just kind of forgot about it. And honestly, after seeing it, I can definitely see why. I'm just gonna say right off the bat the good thing about this episode, and that's just Austin. I would say Austin's probably the best thing about this episode, and what probably saves it for me personally. It's basically the only reason why this is a good episode instead of it being average. I'll get into why I think that later on. But the reason why is because his jokes, like Austin's jokes and lines throughout, are actually really good and kind of funny. Yes, although unfortunately in the way it probably wasn't intended to be, but I still got a laugh out of it, and it was okay enough in my humble opinion to warrant this episode being okay, and that's fine in my book. Like, I'm not gonna blame the episode, at least the hand them, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna blame the episode for that. Like him saying that like all the monsters are not scary <laughs> and just every like every little thing about whatever he says like the oh brother like 20 million times. <laughs> the rest of the episode however just feels kind of tedious to me. It does happen with the show at times where you have these episodes like this one where you have to do a certain task over and over and over again. It can feel tedious at times and this episode definitely is no exception to that for me. With them getting all three of the monsters for a surprise party, it just felt like I was watching the exact same course of events every single time. Yes, yeah, slightly altered in a way, but I was still basically more or less seeing the exact same thing happen over and over again. Which isn't bad, I mean, International Service by did just fine enough. But I would actually argue that that was probably way better because at least like whenever they were fighting over containers, there's one scene where they're just standing. There's one scene where they're like over water and then the other scene is them inside the snow or whatever. So it at least kind of tries to keep it kind of interesting. Also the lyrical changes too. That's another thing too that, that keeps it fresh and keeps it new. It wouldn't be so bad if like the monsters like didn't revert back to being like scared of each other. Like whenever they meet like Pablo. Like, Uniqua and, like, Tyrone begin to be, like, scared of each other again. It's like, what? It makes literally zero sense. It actually would have been way more interesting to have them not be scared. And then having, like, Uniqua explain to Pablo that Tyrone isn't scary or herself isn't scary. I do not know how you would be able to write that lyrically, but it could have definitely worked and it definitely could have improved that part just a little bit in my humble opinion. Aside from that, though, the episode is okay. It, it's fine. Whatever. It's it, okay. It kind of falls under the exact same category of what's bugging you, where some things just kind of annoyed me, but it was still a coherent episode. It wasn't like it was a bad episode by any stretch of the imagination. It wasn't Roll Pod Rampage, okay? <laughs> it isn't the worst episode for sure, but it isn't the best either. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, special thanks to whoever requested this review and who requested me to watch this episode and review it and stuff. You know who you are, and uh, I will go and see you guys soon. Take care, everyone.